hit. Dude, you're on. You gotta see the fireball coming out of that barrel. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's huge, it's, man. It's on. It's shooting well. You're on it. Four. Okay. Well done. Okay. I can get it, yeah. At least to get you through the first part, and then you can just hand, hand it, it off. So Close. I couldn't, I couldn't get it down there enough to do it. Those things are so hard to adjust, too. I know. They're, they're just, a pain. They suck. If you only ever use them for one gun, they're awesome. Right. It's not a jack-of-all-trades holster, though. No. There we go. All right. That'll get me to stage one. Snap. You need a trunk monkey just for the gun holster. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we need to bring a trunk monkey out here to help us do this thing. Pick up brass. <laughs> Snap holsters, <laughs> pick up guns that have fallen in the dirt. Okay, yeah. what are we doing here? Just saying. We're running out of daylight. Do you remember when we uh, ran that M77 Hawkeye? Yeah. We did not like that mm -hmm. gun out here, did we? Real scratchy, rough, bold action. Remember when I ran that? I was saying, there's some 308 bolt guns out there that would be so much more enjoyable to run in this course. And less money. This is one of them. This is the Vanguard by Weatherby, this is a carbine version. 20 inch barrel, very smooth bolt. It has a decent trigger out of the box. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you're insane. It's gonna be a lot of reload time because it only holds four. And That's the price. right. We expect that. Just take price that. $385. Yeah. Try to beat that. The Hawkeye was twice the price. Mm -hmm. We should just do four on each one since all it'll hold and then we can reload before each. Plate. I like it. Let's do that. We'll do four on each four, plate. Four on each plate. Okay. okay. Awesome. All right. I'll follow you guys and bring up the rear. Okay. You'll be our uh, brass picker upper. Here, drag. I'll run that. I'm going to drag tail as also, I go. Also, the Walther PPQ at 9mm. PFI nice dad in a little warm up session was shredding it. He's going out and buying one. Shredding it. Do you not just PFI. love that gun? I love that gun. I love, love the Walther love the PPQ. It shoots great. There will be one in the stable before long. You are wise. <laughs> I can tell you right now that tabletop, when I do it, which will be soon, is going to just rave about the gun. It is It is so many things right about the Walther PPQ. Weight, size, cost, reliability, accuracy, sights, ergonomics. Great feel. Uh, and, oh, do you remember that one thing I was telling you too? What, about starting to beat? You saw me push it. <laughs> I can't get anything over on this old man. Go! Wise guy. Right side! A Sage Pistolero. Four or five. Nice. Shredded it. Keep going. Guess you have more rounds than that one. Yeah, 15. Whatever. I'll keep you honest. I'll let you shoot seven more. Five on the swinger, two on your favorite, the testicles. Awesome. All right. I got some more here. Yeah, go ahead and unload it. Atta boy. Wasted that guy. Wasted him. Now we get serious. 308 bolt gun and TMP. Watch the fireball, fellas. It will rock your world out of a 20 inch barrel. Oh! <laughs> that was a miss, by the way. Another miss. What happened? Oh. Hang on, I gotta secure this sucker. All misses. What happened to you, bro? I don't know. Man, you're nailing spot. it in the warm up. In the same spot, I thought. He fired two shots to make sure it was on. Hold on, make sure that goes all the way to the rear like that. There you go.
Four rounds are what we're doing with the bolt guns and sledgehammer short drill. Get a better trigger pull, Holmes. Hit! Like that. In this feed. Strip it. Two of four on that. Slow down when you load, just take your time. Make sure all those rounds are pushed to the rear of the box magazine, like this. Yep. Okay. There you go. And that top one, you, I don't even know if you have to push down, you can probably just feed it. It's a 700 action. It's tough. It's got a little high, I believe. Oh, I went above it and below it. All right, here we go, four more in the head. We're heating this little bolt gun up today. Heating it up. Nice bolt manipulation there at the end, Holmes. Nice gun, shoots well. It's got a nice trigger to it. Yeah, it does. Real nice trigger to it. Yeah, nice gun, I like that. Yeah. If you guys really want me to total up the points on runs, uh, I guess you can let me know. I don't. I hope you don't. I don't. It's too much work for me. Well, it doesn't mean that much for most people. I pulled one, I think, yeah, right here. Waiting to show Yeah, so that's three out of four. These are nice. Those are well done. Yeah, yeah right. buddy. It's done. That's yeah. fine. That's a good run. All right, that's a Vanguard by Weatherby. That's a carbine 20-inch barrel. Man, what a sweet gun that is. Two guns hadn't shot before. It's a lot of fun. Sweet guns. PPQ you did really good on. Yeah. That thing is dominating. I like that. I'm going to have to have PFI dude order me one in. Amen, brother. You still on that? Did already. You rock. I gotta go to the bottom of the plate on it. Do you? Yeah, it was shooting, I shot some MagTech plus P85 grain out of it and it's shooting way high with that stuff. Oh, I bet. I, you guys wanna shoot this, static? Don't matter to me. That burst is awesome. Yeah, we have a bursta. It's a really good gun. Mm -hmm. I think you, everyone's been telling me that for years now, you included probably. Yeah, they're not bad guns at all. The only problem we kept having with them was the grip just kept loosening up. No matter how much we locked tied them, the really? grip screws would come loose and the grip would start to fall off. Really? <clears throat>
So watch your grips. Okay. I hate to put wear and tear on this gun, this is so awesome. But it already has some. By the way, that's a good deal on that. I got it for five seventy five. Did you? From a dealer in California. They don't make them anymore? No, they don't not PPs. That one's made in Germany too. Sweet. And it's pretty clean. It's a blued version, which I prefer. It's just kind of a second kind of cool thing. Right. I just love it. It's a longer barreled PPK. It came out before the PPK actually. Well, 380 has always been one of your favorite calibers. Love it. Well, the thing I like about it is that you can pretty much hit the bad guy anywhere and it'll stop him. Yep. Because it has so much power. <laughs> <laughs> it still sucks. The 380 still sucks. But I love mine. I love all place. my 380s. It has a place. Yeah. As long as you understand the limitations, accept them. And this is one of them. It's just the cost to shoot it. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest limitations of 380. It's expensive. Nice shooting. Thanks, bro. Awesome. I question your manhood. Heck, for that case, <laughs> your womanhood if you don't love this gun. The beautiful blue finish, the fine workmanship, the longer barrel, decent sights, good single action trigger. Double action's tough. Just second kind of cool, first kind of cool. I love this gun. Oh, love it. Okay, we're gonna have your dad shoot this too. Flip that all the way up, Holmes. Oh, okay. You can go to single action first, too. I don't care. Well, that shoe's nice. Very much so. That shoe's really nice. Aim kind of on this one, aim a little bit low on the swinger plate. Just a little bit low towards the bottom, and you'll, you'll probably hit it right on. That gun shoot, tends to shoot a little high. Well, there's not a lot of recoil with that thing. Nothing. It's a stout pistol really for a nice. 380. That really is for a little 380. Yeah, absolutely. No cutting in cost when they built that. Uh-uh. No at all. Nope. It's, everything's top notch on that. PFI dude's up. On it. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Awesome. Mag release is up high. It is. It's an unusual position, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very PP, PPK feature. No. Get in there. Is this a factory mag, too? Uh, the one you have. Just didn't yes, feed it quite as smooth as the other one. That is a factory PPK. I can't get that nut for some reason. I know, I was just trying it. I don't know if it's high or low on it. I don't know either, but... If I can't figure it out with this... Give me uh, all swingers. Get yeah. really up close on the gun on this one. It's getting a little sticky on the... Uh, chambering of the round there. Yeah, see? Oh, check that out. Is it when it gets heated up, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, 
Nice job. Sweet. Okay, dad's up. You wanna shoot that again? Yeah, I'll shoot again. Well, it's good to heat it up, see how it does. Oh, yeah. I damn a little bit low again. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, I like still, that. Still hitting the high, aren't I? Isn't that funny? There you go. This time of night's getting hard too. Oh, yeah, my eyes are going on me. I'm aiming right at the bottom of the plate. Yeah, I was aiming about an inch up. Up? An inch from the bottom. Yeah. Love that guy. I've dude. caught myself zoomed in kind of crazy a couple times on here, so. Uh oh. Luckily, it wasn't when we were doing anything important. Okay. Not that any of it's important. I got to go get hollow points and test it with that. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Up on that? Uh, probably. It's, I don't know. You take a look. If you want, I can. We'll probably be all right on this run. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Still enough ambient light for a minute. Own it. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, I like feel that. It's got a nice feel to it. I caught something for you. Thanks. Nice, nice, nice catch. I'll load it some more. Uh, I think I got an extra magazine in there. Did you see it? There was an extra. Did you just pull the one? I just pulled one. Out. Okay. I'm did gonna you... shoot this on paper so I can have a record of how good it printed. Oh, okay. So we'll wait till he's done. Okay, that just dropped a slide on a mag insert. That happens all the time. I know it. I like that. It's got a nice it's a trigger to it. Great gun. Nice trigger to it. Great. Got a real good feel. Got a good. It's roomy Good too. Break. It's not a crouched 380. Nah. You got lots of room to stretch yep. out for ergonomics. Yeah. It's got a pretty good sight picture for 380. Yep. So, very nice. PFI's up. Where's the 380 at? I got it right here. I'm gonna go up there. <clears throat> Interesting. That's not very awesome. Is this just me or is this bursa rocking it a lot more than your PP did? It seems like it. I wonder if it's just because we're getting more square hits. Here, go to the cone. You're shooting at kind of an oblique angle. Okay. Pulled that one. All these little 380s kill me. My my bone must sit right there. Come on, All right, there we go. Hmm. Almost. Hmm. I like it, but every one of them. I mean, look at my hand. 
Just really? the way my bone sits right there. Huh. Stubby thumbs. Yep. They just don't come around to where that fits in a notch. It Do just you get that me. with a SIG P238? Yeah. No. Interesting. But that one recoils a lot less than these do too. I think it's got a lot smoother recoil system. Hmm. I like the bursts though. Shot one in a lot of time. Let's go. What we got here? SIG 1911-22. Same as the GSG-22. Sweet. It's been reliable so far. And accurate. He said as he lit. As it, <laughs> as it dry fires and jams up. Let's see if that was around though. Try it. Nice. Let me start that over. Thirteen minutes on your battery, bro. I got an extra one. With you? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got sunset. You know what I've been in the mood for lately? Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> yeah? Really good pizza. Like the thin crust Italian. Like, I'm not talking like Americanized pizza. Like if you go to Italy and have their pizza, it's awesome. They have like fresh mozzarella on it. Freshly made tomato sauce out of... Uh, well, fresh tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got That's a little fixated kind of a on the sunset. It has kind of a delayed, that is a beautiful sunset. It has kind of a delayed going into battery. Really thing. weak springs, it seems like a lot of these 22s they use. They can't be that strong though for the 22. That's what I mean, you can't have a real strong one. Yeah. Nice. Cool. We just caught the tail end of that side. Hi, filming. Playing a little jingle balls there. Well, I figured the holidays are not too far <laughs> off. <laughs> Jingle balls. Where's that sense of humor been all day, Fag? <laughs> I kind of got deflated there for a little uh, bit. I can understand. It's going to be hard to run that bolt gun. I want to try, though. Yeah. The 200 will be a chore. Yeah. Pretty much we'll be doing it for the fireball. Yeah, next time we uh, come out and play in the dark, I want to run that laser designator that we've got and try that. Do it. Have you shot one of those yet? Have you tried using those? No. I'm generally not a fan of lasers at distance. Safety. It'll flick up on you if you're not careful too. Thing shoots awesome. Well done. I love that trigger. It's different. It's kind of spongy, but I really like it. Boy, that's some weight in that mag. That's one way they replicate the weight of the 1911. They put it in the magazine. That's a very well built mag, though. Yep. German made mag. What is that here? I can't even see the dog. Yeah, go for the big one. It's dang fun to shoot. Cheap too. Yeah. All right. Yep. Here you film. I'll load. I'll finish it out with a round of jingle balls. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That thing's awesome. It's a good gun. How many rounds you got through it so far? 200 is all. Yeah. Did, where'd you buy it from? Uh, Impact. Did you? They had them on the shelf. Had that one there when I saw the coloration. And yep. I actually scoped it out at Gunny's. When I saw it at Gunny's, I was like, oh, 
Yeah. I wouldn't mind, you know, running that. I, saw, I watched your gunnies review. That was pretty nice. Thanks. Yeah, it's good. They got a lot of stuff down there. It's a good gun store. Seem like pretty good dudes. Once again, the nothing fancy project. The what? Daylight to dusk and beyond. Going to try to make one more run. It's about 7:15 at night. You about can't even see where you're walking. So this camera's doing a good job. All right, last run of the night. Man, it got dark on it got us, dark dude. Real quick. Real quick. We're shooting some 380s. What? Check that exposure. We did. Okay. How about checking this? All right. You're setting your own beep to go, aren't you? Okay, here we Weatherby go. Weatherby Vanguard carbine 20 inch barrel Walther PPQ again. I love this gun. Give me a beat, DJ. 7.30 at night. Here we go. Throw me some light, too, because I didn't want to waste we'll time do. putting a gun light on this. We got a fireball. Nice. Awesome. Sick. Go right. Oh, right. this PPQ rocks. Thanks, boss. Look at that big bird. That's an owl. Check that thing. Awesome. <laughs> Only I notice an owl during the run and gun. <laughs> Not much help here to you, son. Don't worry about it. Good luck. It's got to be right about there. Come here and capture this fireball, dude. You can kill the light. I don't need it. You find it? Yep. Listen for the steel. Nice hit. Yeah, there's a smooth bolt gun. <laughs> that flash, muzzle flash is awesome. Four for four in the dark. The TNP version of a midnight desert shoot. Fun. Find it? Yep. Listen for the steel. For two. Three, three. Four for four. Move it on. This one's gonna be tough. This is when you learn if you have a good scope or not. And this is a good scope. Weaver, six by 24. This 
50. Nice. Two out of four. I'm gonna shoot four more, bro. Nice. Thank you. Loads fast too for a bolt gun. A hit. Solid hit. Another hit. Nice job. Four out of four on the last set. Thanks, dude. Shoot. Nice job. Thanks, Boff. Well, feel good about good run. the run. It's a good run. Good run. Impressive this time of night. Thanks. Nice job. Connected almost every shot in the dark. You did. You did. Four out of four on the last set on the 200 yards. That's pretty remarkable. Thanks, dude. It's a good scope. Good the, shooter. The Weaver, I'll tell you, it's a Weaver 6x24 mil dot. The number on it is. 849412. 849412. This is a tough That's test, a tough don't test. you think? That's Turn the light off. Let them see them how. Even the <laughs> camera makes it seem a lot lighter than it is. Yeah, I mean, it's pitch black. That's what we're shooting in. That's what we're shooting in. So, anyway, good job. Thanks, dude. Okay, let's clean up. Clean up. What light you got there? TK40. Great light. Yeah, it's a great light. Where's your headlamp kit, though, Holmes? I think I packed it up and shipped it to somebody. Oh man, we that kinda... is bad. Where's yours? Uh, I'm at the end of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, family, weakness. Family comes last when it comes to retail. They don't. They <laughs> sell them by the hundreds, and yet they themselves aren't wearing a nothing fancy PFI dude headlamp kit. Yeah. That is a Quark One Two Three and a Phoenix headband. It is awesome. Yeah, we had a struggle keeping them on the shelf and couldn't get enough lights to keep them fulfilled, and we just barely got them back in inventory. So. Really? That's interesting. This is what I just heard. Blah, 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 blah. I suck because I'm not prepared. <laughs> is that harsh? That's pretty harsh, but it's harsh. That's reality. Yeah, reality. Uh, I shouldn't say you're not prepared. You actually have a light. Yeah, we do. We got yeah, a couple lights. Yeah. But... PD31, we're, we're set. We Mi just didn't bring any batteries. They're dead. <laughs> oh, Murphy's Law. Yeah. yeah. Always, anytime I'm running my headlamp kit, I set well, it in the tabletop review. We I'm should carrying know a couple of these. Yep. We should know better, but. Chapstick we too. We'd be out here yeah. at midnight. <laughs> midnight. You should know better, especially as it's getting darker later. I'm sorry, earlier. So yeah, yeah. it's only 7:38 when we're yeah. knocking this and shoot off. Zero yeah, light. Zero. That's where. 
All right. Cloud cover's got the moon Been a fun day, up. though. It's been oh, a good yeah. day. Let's debrief the systems. We have a lot of great guns a lot of great uh, today. Lots of good guns. A lot of first time shooting wow. different guns. It's awesome. What do we see run really well? How about the, uh, the Operator Elite 2 by Rock yeah. River? Flawless. Rock River oh, my gosh. Awesome. Flawless. Huge home run on that gun. Mm -hmm. The, wa uh, the uh, Walther PPQ. PPQ, flawless. You guys are killing it with the oh PPQ. Oh, my gosh. I love that gun. Yeah. We'll have one of those on order shortly. It should. Yeah. I mean, seriously, that's yeah, one of the best awesome handguns gun. I've seen come down the market, that's and I've an shot awesome, a few. Great mm -hmm. shooting gun. Great trigger on it. It's very accurate. Very reliable. We didn't see it choke at all. I shot it yesterday for accuracy. It was accurate. Uh, awesome. Uh, the Rock River Arms PDS, the piston yeah. gun. Very good. Love you shot that, that really shot well. Real well. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> see, the PDS <laughs> was my was my nemesis at 200 yards. I don't know what it was. The gun is great, but I just had difficulty connecting. You should have tried it in the dark. Yeah, you shot excellent in the dark. <laughs> I came alive in the dark, dude. Yeah. That uh, Weatherby Vanguard, the carbine. That was awesome. Oh, my gosh. Hey, how about that Ruger? Which one? The LC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the LC9. 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 Secret ballot says, everybody thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, we just don't like it. We're not making not it up. Good. Here, you film me, Holmes. Yep. We're not making it up. We're just telling you as it as it goes. I don't think any of us like. It. I didn't like it when I shot I it with like impact. It. it has a real uh, harsh really trigger that's snappy. Trigger. It hurts your finger. It, there's some trigger slap in it. Mm -hmm. It was reliable. It was reliable and more or less accurate. I mean, I was able to connect on steel today with it pretty yeah. good, but. I just, I don't know. I'm just Didn't not like impressed with it. I think uh, a new gun to keep your eye on that I think is going to pretty much lay waste to the LC9 is the Beretta Nano. Yeah. The Beretta Nano looks like a, a subcompact 9 other than what we have on the market already that's done right. It's going to be lightweight. We're going to get some, uh, get one in the project, start talking about it and test Bursa, it. We could be surprised in a bad way. Bursa shot nice. Uh, yeah. And I don't know if I'll roll that footage in. I, Probably will. I, I kind of do some insert footage, and that's mm -hmm. when I roll it in on tabletop. <laughs> the Bursa 380, 380, just excellent. Yep. We did have one little hook hick up there. Can't speak. It could have been me limp wristing it too, though. Yeah, you know it. Just a stove pipe. We've it seen it in about happen. everything. Uh, the Walther PP West German. Oh my gosh, I love that gun. Yeah, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, I just love it. It's second kind of cool for me. I totally. I heard they're that. producing a lot of them these days. As in none. Yep. At yeah. least of that variety in the states. Uh. Really great gun. You're gonna see a epic. Oh wait, we can't use that word. No. We're gonna use something that's overused. So you're not gonna see a not so weenie review <laughs> on the Walther PPK and PP series for me. Nothing fancy. Love those guns. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the Sig 1911. Sig, good gun. You don't seem too stoked on it. Well, I'm a 1911 guy, and I love the gun. I just had a tough time with the front sight on it, you know, with the factory sights. You didn't shoot it super well. I didn't awesome. shoot it real well, and I typically shoot 1911s fairly well, but I just, mm -hmm. I, had, I struggled with that. The front sight just blended in with the target, and I could not find it. Right. That gun is wearing a trigger job from Yoda now. Mm -hmm. He worked it over, and it is better. I still like it a little bit lighter. Uh, lighter. It's breaking about four and a half. We can fix that. Uh, it was reliable, except we did a... Uh, running the mag in mm -hmm. and then it failed to go into battery off of that which yeah. not super great to be honest i'll say that in the tabletop i love the looks of the sig 1911s the thing that kind of surprised surprised me about them is they're not like to the level of a 226 or two 200 series combat pistol right they're just not uh they they need to work this one actually was sent to the factory sent back from sig with no notes of what they did nothing uh -huh. probably they shot it 20 rounds and they didn't have a problem yeah works good send it back yeah Anyways, I still love it. I love the SIG 1911s, but you might have to work with, uh, you know, fine tune it a little bit. And then the LWRC, you ran it. Yep. M6A2. It ran good. How, you know, one thing, going back to the the Rock River Arms PDS, is that is probably the smoothest oh, AR-15 yeah. style piston gun I've ever Beautiful shot. Beautiful action. I mean, it just, I don't know what they did to that, but it's such a soft recoil impulse. Well, so it's like there's nothing. And the muzzle brake might have something to do with that, too. Well, I, even the action, the action's just yeah. quieter, too. You don't get the boing from the springs in your ear, and it's just, yeah. it was, it's a pleasure to shoot it. Right. That was a win. Yeah, I loved it. How about the LWRC? That has a lot more push to it, don't it? It does. You and feel a lot more with it. Describe. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still shot good. I think for what it is, it's an excellent gun. It's just it's reliable, a little bit man. too expensive, in my opinion. It is. It is a little bit overpriced on that. Actually, a lot overpriced. Because I think the, the market right now is demanding about a $1,400 to $1,500 price point mm -hmm. for a, a widely selling, 
piston AR-15. True. I'm talking from the factory. If you go beyond that, you better have a really good reason why you're going beyond that. But honestly, you're going to be hard pressed to justify the expense on first kind of cool because you're going to say, well, here I'm charging all this money for the AR-15 and it's uh, for this piston AR-15. It's better than, for instance, the Rock River PDS yeah. because right. of what? Is it more accurate? No. Mm -hmm. Is it more reliable? No. Is it cooler? Uh, maybe. I mean that. That polymer four end on there is kind of goofy looking. A little bit of Wizard of Oz issue right. going on that. I think it's a hard sell. And then you have the the SR five five six E model Echo models running around eleven mm -hmm. thousand to eleven hundred, and it's light. It's seven point three, seven point four naked. Yeah, yeah, a lot of great options for about the same money. Yep. Fun day. Yeah, it was a lot awesome of shooting. Day. I, I, shooting a lot of different thanks guns. for the idea of compressing sledge. I mean, these guys gave me the idea, and I was I jumped on it, man, and it turned out to be the right call. Out. Yeah, it was awesome. That's a, a fun, fun course. I mean, if we if we don't compress sledge, it just I'm sorry, it's an ass kicker to come out here and we're, we'd be leaving a lot tired, and actually, wouldn't, and more importantly, we wouldn't get as many runs in, uh -huh. and we got it. We got a lot done, I think. <coughs> we really did, even I, with the lack of runs by PFI, dude. Yeah, PFI. Okay. All right, you know. He had some medical Nothing stuff. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. So There's we, no we forced time. him to get out of the fight. We're like, well, Dad did. Said you need to sit down. So I oh, know I'm not inviting him next time. <laughs> so <laughs> with just me here, mind to understand, I would have kept running you until you faint or fall in. We'd have to call the helicopter <laughs> to come fetch you. Yeah, that was what? awesome. Great day. It was a great day. Look at the weather too. Yeah. Perfect. Amazing. Oh, it's dark. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, All that's right. it. This is a, a working shoot for a lot of reviews coming up, and I've actually given you quite a bit of insight on our thoughts and feelings, and mine especially, on the tabletop that I'll be doing on these guns. I want to give big thanks to PFI Dad. Good My pleasure. And PFI Dude, as always. Love having these guys My out. pleasure. Solid TMP crew members, as always. This is Nothing Fancy from the beautiful and very quiet desert. How cool is that owl, by the way? That was cool. Signing off, awesome. Net Fancy and crew. See you. See you later.